Opebolo's campaign has caught fire. His opponents have run for cover by Kasim Afegboa. I witnessed the three campaigns of the APC in the three senatorial districts, and I came to the unassailable conclusion that nobody can stop an idea whose time has come. The popularity of Senator Opebolo has become legendary, while the outgoing governor is ashamed to publicly campaign for his anointed godson with the leprous fingers of the same hand. Opebolo's acceptance has become a source of worry for the fractured PDP and the beleaguered leadership from Edo South to Edo Central to Edo North. It has been a week of harvest of electorates who have sworn to the irrevocable commitment to chase Obasweki out of Edo, out of Edo State. In one year alone, Edo State government got 271 billion naira from allocations. 13% derivation and international revenue. But in that one year, Edo State has been borrowing money. Imagine Obaseki signing a supplementary budget of 450 billion naira, barely two months into in his exit, last minute whacking and desperation to buy votes with 25,000 naira per voter. He tried it in Agenebode last week, but the shock of his life when the people collected the money and told him pointedly that they would not vote for his candidate, Asui Godalo. He was in the home of Chief Alaba Oshogwemo. What God cannot do does not exist. This is an apt description of Opebolo's use to political stardom, creating waves across the board and making Edo electorates bubbling with happiness at that last. A political messiah has come. Opebolo's anointing is, a remarkable and unstoppable, is remarkable and unstoppable. From pastors and men of God endorsements, to that of Edo Farmers Association, to groups, National Association of Nigerian Students, and different professional groups. It has been one endorsement after the other. The turnout to receive Opebolo's message of peace and agenda has been essential outpouring of raw and undiluted love from the electorate, simple and calm, easy going with a heart of gold. Senator Opebolo has since become the candidate to beat in this election. At first, they said he was deaf and dumb. Another time, they said he was mute. Now he has started selling his five-point agenda. They now accuse him of using a remote control device to deliver his message. They cannot understand why and how his popularity is spreading like wildfire, despite all the pull him down syndrome from orchestrated skits, TikToks, and social media comments. The candidate remains unshaken, undaunted, and collected, bracing all landmines and coasting home to victory. He donated luxury buses for free for transportation. They said, oh, he diverted federal government vehicles for that on purpose. They thought everybody behaves like the ungodly fathers who were experts in diverting rice and other palliatives. In one fell swoop, they diverted 20 trucks of rice donated by the federal government until they were exposed. They also diverted Dangote's rice of, of 30,000 bags and tried to rebag them until they were caught. I have not seen this category of rice executives before. The date of the elections is near and you can feel the pain of the impending defeat. They have spoken queens in English. Now it is pidgin English they resorted to. Opebolo spoke to his Essan brothers and sisters in Essan language without batting an eyelid. Aswe is said to be taking lectures in Essan language trying to catch easy phenoms of such an alluring language. It's also one recently that politics is tough. It will be tougher when facing a man and the candidates that enjoy God's announcing and uncommon grace. That is the Opebolo's Midas touch. September 21st beckons. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on notifications so I can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on.